Hello, Gwenters, and welcome back for a Thirsty Thursday with Nilfgaard. Uh, today I'm going to be running this Devoted Removal deck. I just really like Enslave. I really like Hefty Helga. I really like uh, Fire Scorpions. You guys know that. But Fire Scorpions now have four points when you put them down. So they're just a little bit more difficult to remove. The opponent has to think a little bit more about whether or not they want to try to remove that card. And we are going to combine these uh, with uh, our Imperium Enforcers. I just really have enjoyed this combo. Uh, I've changed the previous version of this deck. Uh, we downgraded Damien into Stefan. And then I have bumped up uh one of my mage torturers into roderick i was just having some draw consistency problems and i think we're just going to try this out with these new fire scorpions uh and these other cards in the deck so war council is going between war council and roderick we should be able to get a little bit more draw consistency out of this deck but let's just go ahead and find out if we can't then another couple options we can use here actually are marching orders to go ahead and get one of those cards that we really want. So this deck notably though is not running a meno, so we don't really have a great way of getting like a specific tactic card. Um, you could instead swap out War Council, but the War Council is just such high value for my Helga. I think of it similarly as like the, the Boom Knights, the Fallen Knights uh, using that uh, uh, damnation, not damnation, sorry, uh, excommunication to move it, remove a unit, then play another card. And I've often be able to chain that into like three crime cards where you can like play congregate after that to get the spawns plus the end up being three crime cards. It just is like nine points of boost to just one night in one round. So very similarly, that that card i found the same value out of so let's jump into a game a lot of people are complaining about Nilfgaard's not as good anymore and i'm tired of hearing them whine so we're just going to jump in and show you guys what we can do with Nilfgaard. uh I, I just i think i am not so much in love with the state of the game whenever it comes down to who has the best removal i would rather play a game where it's like it's just a little bit more tactical if that makes sense where i have to like actually think a little bit more um you know the skelga removal is just so obtuse uh it just makes it so it's just not that much of a of a of a thinking game anymore and i, I really have enjoyed the thinking aspect of this game over the years so uh decent number of tactics here i think the biggest ones will want to change out Experimental Remedy is just better in the next round. I like to have one Fire Scorpion at least. And then we'll leave the rest of these. Um, except for Mage Torturer. She's, we don't have anything that works well with her. And I really want to try to get Coup de Gras. So we'll cycle back in. Tourney Joust. Alright, so we don't get it. And that's fine. Um, so they have a 6 point Parasite Removal. Uh, they can also play like Predatory Dive. So there's a bunch of stuff they can do to kind of wreck our lives. So we're going to just lead out with a Magnet Division. There's nothing here is really row locked per se. So um, Magnet Division should be just fine for us. And we'll save this Crystal Skull to play onto this Fire Scorpion. And then we'll try to carry over Hefty Helga into another round. Treason can find a lot of value against monsters. Um, alright, so yeah, this is, I, I'm almost certainly up against an ethereal deck, which is fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and proc that. Uh, I really like the new rework on Crystal Skull of giving the veil, so it can prevent the poison, prevent the lock. It does give it status, but I'm not really worried about him playing something that's gonna wreck me that way. Alright, so... Oh, this is a problem with playing a blue coin deck. Um, Helga should still get us good value here. Um, and Slave is really good against Ethereal, though, because you can just go ahead and steal their Ethereal. And then between Helga and Tourney Joust, she's going to go ahead and get some get some, get some some real, real value here. So we'll, we'll put up our Tourney Joust onto Helga just to keep her alive. She gets another two. She gets another two damage from that charge, and she's up to eight points. So we're in a decent spot. 
Not amazing, but certainly not bad. Yeah, Joachim, I just we kind of got poor draws here with these other options, but uh, it would be nice to. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I don't like about the state of the game right now. It's just so much removal. I mean, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. All removal. I mean, Arc Spore, I guess, is just two damage. But two predatory dives in a deck? That's just kind of gross to me. I don't, I don't really understand why you'd want to do that. Um... I kind of want to just like push him out of this round. Let's go ahead and make him go first. Let's play on red coin. I mean, we're probably we're gonna have to play on blue coin in final round, but I'd rather do that. I'd rather play on red coin in what I think is gonna be the meaty round, which will be round two. So he's gonna want to draw out a lot more stuff from me, or I would if I was him. All right, we have our Mage Torture with Amnesty, which is good. Assassination will be good removal, uh, and then Fire Scorpion will be good cadence as well. Um, not convinced about the value of trees in this round. It could be good in final round, but we're gonna go ahead and put it back. Experimental Remedy. We can go ahead and steal this Night Wraith, I guess. Not the best. All right. Okay. We got everything we need for a good to use Fion and Skellen. I'm happy with that option. Um, and we could double use Amnesty if we need. Even battle preparation works. All right. And this is how you ruin an ethereal deck. So best way to do this, just go ahead and proc that. Go ahead and steal the ethereal. Shut it down. Uh, that's what I would recommend. <laughs> go ahead and remove the other unit. Get the ethereal over. Uh, there's no real. We don't have any really great row removal. We could have used our treason. We cycled that back in. This to me is just a much better play. Um, Amnesty can't quite grab it. If I had, if I had been on blue coin and kept a fire scorpion, we could have damaged one down, stolen it, and then gone from there. Uh, and then the only other thing to keep in mind is do we just need to play everything to the left of this ethereal, right? So, uh, certainly doable. All right, now we're going to play this Mage Torturer onto this Andrega Larva. So we're going to steal it, and it's going to get flipped into an ethereal, so I don't really care what the value is per se. Um of that card but it is just something to keep in mind and then these mage torturers work really well with our uh with our imperial enforcers but we just can't quite seem to grab one okay this works with the aperian phantom and i actually prefer that card this is a little bit better for me and devotions proc for us too because our our deck is devotion all right, here comes his removal. And we're card up right now. So we just need to make sure that we stay one card up and we're going to be just fine. Um, but this is the problem with like with pure removal decks, though. You're not going to find a ton of value out of them. Uh, and I think we'll just go here, place Fion. And we'll go ahead and boost up Theon too. And I'm just gonna save these charges. I just wanna, I just wanna put the dog in the ground. Um, no questions asked. Don't really want to have to mess around with it. Parian Phantom isn't gonna really find great value. If you had a Purify, then maybe it would, but um, I doubt he's gonna find that. Uh, and then we'll use Skellen here. He's just gonna replay batter preparation, but it's more than zero. It's more than zero points, so it works out for us. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play him. 
And then uh, our units, so it has to be someone who's not an agent, right? Top unit from your deck can boost by eight. I used to say top non-agent deck, so I guess they've changed that. But anyway, it's going to be one of these three cards if and when we need to play that. So we're up by three. He doesn't. This is a passive engine that gets him one point every turn. Uh, I think we might try to grab this Roderick because it'll give us two, two gold grabs. One might be bribery, right? So, oh, let's see what we can do. All right, this worked out well for us. Lots of points there. Um, and we are up by one point. Skellen's not going to get any other value than he than from that. Let's go ahead and boost enforcers, give them armor, and we are still up by a decent number of points. And we have Fergus, we can still play here or uh, usurper general. I like this. Um, uh, whenever you play an agent, boost self by one could be helpful, but we don't really have any agents, so it's just mostly going to be a counting game of how many points I can get out. All right, Igni is uh, is a sad and unfortunate end to our day. Um, yeah, should have played around Igni a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I think Usurper General is going to be six plus three plus three. One of those gets changed into a four. Um, yeah, I think this is our best option. So let's go ahead. It doesn't really matter who we kill here. So when we pull them back, we should be able to lock this down. It'll get flipped into ethereal. We can go ahead and pass. And we still have Fergus von Emrys. So, uh... Stinks to be playing blue coin here a little bit, but we are card up, so it gives us a little bit of flexibility. Um, treason is not going to be very valuable for us. Bribery is great. Well, that's exactly what we need. Then amnesty and assassination play well, but I think I would rather have my, my enforcers if I can get them. Amnesty is... A little bit more point value, but I'm nervous that I'll be able to if I'll be able to find value or not. Um, just because I have to have a unit down to three, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. Uh, An experimental remedy might actually just be the best option we have here to go ahead and steal one of these Indrega larvae. Then we can sync these with bribery. Uh, use our assassination to get some good removal. Lots of options we have. Um, Goliath is annoying here. Not the end of the world, though. All right, let's play Bribery. Um, trigger that Bronze ability would be nice. Damage by two, so this is seven points. Um, she'll get boosted by five to five, so Strig is still best here. Then Fergus playing for seven is going to just be really valuable for us. Um, this is a poor play. They did not play around assassination well. Easy removal. And he doesn't have an Ikarin that he's played. So And the Goliath's out now. So this is, yeah, really slow cadence here. It doesn't even proc the Thrive on this Ganorkia's Fruit. So we get our Thrives. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, and that's the win right there. So Experimental Remedy playing for six points. Really good. Uh, lots of fun. Anyway, I, really, I like this deck. I like it um, just because it is, it's at least a, a more sophisticated way of playing removal and needing to get units down to a certain value in order so you can so that you can grab them either with your leader ability or with the um, Amnesty. It is very difficult to play around on red coin, but as we just showed, you can win this on blue coin. Uh, you just, you're gonna have a lot of stuff removed and it's gonna be a little anxiety inducing, uh, but you can go ahead and rock that out, so.
But uh, thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with me. Again, please leave a comment. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, but really interested in your feedback on these decks, what you're thinking about, where this channel is going, and what we're doing. Uh, really, I, I really do uh, lean on your feedback a lot, both for what I'm thinking about for doing next and how I'm changing my channel. So, But thank you guys so much. I uh, hope to talk to you soon. And until then, get out there and keep on Gwenting.